Well, guys, congratulations on the show. I think everybody's talking about this, but I think some people are a bit shocked because the trailer's out there and people are expecting, you know, Sherlock, the legendary character and Watson and then the normal kind of what the, the reason why they love the show. But this has taken that and putting a big twist on it with the horror and the supernatural edge. When you read the script, did that grab you? Did that make you go, oh, I, I really want to be part of this? Or were you kind of going, where is this going? What's it going to be like? Because it was it easy to imagine. <laughs> Sean, people like more mystery rather than less mystery. We, we, I mean, you know, when you're reading it and you're, you're as intrigued as hopefully the viewer will be, it, it actually ups the stakes. And a big thing about the, one of the stories that we're telling in this is as much as uh, um, we're, you know, the, the legend of Sherlock exists within the world of the show, we're also trying to unpick kind of what that legend is. And I suppose looking at the relationship with uh, Watson and himself and questioning whether they necessarily are a force for good or a force for evil. Yeah. And, and, and Henry, for you, like the, the costumes in this are brilliant. Mm. Obviously it's 19th century still. So does that things like that make it easier when you're going onto a set, when you actually have that obvious look that you go, oh yeah, I'm not me anymore. I'm this character. Do you know what I mean? Does, do costumes like that, when they're so different, help get into the vibe? Absolutely, Sean. I'm I'm nothing. I'm I'm a mere husk of a man without all my, all my props, <laughs> costumes, <laughs> and hours in hair and makeup. It, 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 I'd be completely lost without it. And you know, everyone says. I think I can't remember whether it was um, Gilgood or someone said. Oh, you know, it's not until I get the shoes on um, that, that I can feel the character. I'm not quite that bad, but I'm almost that bad. <laughs> yeah, there's always there's always a way in. There's always a way into a character. For me, with Watson, it was. Uh, I mean, we had an amazing costume designer and the detail in the costume was incredible. But I said to him, I saw the type of material he was going to use, potentially going to use for certain like waistcoats and jackets of Watson. And I thought, oh, you know, there are all these little kind of details. And I thought maybe Watson, it kind of informed Watson's backstory in a way that I, I hadn't thought about before. I thought, well, maybe he's been here. Maybe he's been there and he picked this up here. And then it kind of created this, this kind of backstory and this trail that I could link back and kind of build this complex strange man who's traveled the world and he's interacted with many different people and he's 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 adapted to many different situations so yeah like henry said shoes or whatever it might be there's always something that kind of that when when you hit it you go ah that's 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 it yeah and some of it i actually yeah, think it's was never the same awesome. thing sean it's never yeah. the same thing <laughs> <laughs> and some of it actually is pretty slick i mean those they were proper snazzy dressers so do you get to keep anything do you know what I mean? When you leave a set like that, can you like blag with the costume department? I'll tell you, and you can lose that. You can lose that bit. You know, just the, the jacket or the waistcoat or something. Sean, I always, I always take socks, even when, even when they don't <laughs> offer them to me. I always do. I've got a collection of socks from characters I played. <laughs> really? Uh, they're not missed. Right. They're not missed. You're the one I... single-handedly destroying the British film industry by stealing <laughs> yeah. all the socks. That now is funding, <laughs> funding gap. Yeah, the I sock... stick by it. The sock mystery is now solved. You edit yourself mm. as a sock burglar. Um, obviously, as you mentioned, yeah. Sherlock has such a history and this show is so different. So do you do you research Sherlock at all? The old stories or anything of the characters? Or is this so new and different that you just go with the new script? We had so much to get our teeth into. There's so much to unpack in the world that we're telling our story. The supernatural element, like the, the uh, like full scale apocalypse which is going on in the world of the show. Um, um, when, when you're fighting the apocalypse, Sean, you don't, you don't have uh, much time to uh, go and, you know, start researching the history books. Yeah, true. true. And, and this was this film then during COVID, pre-COVID, like because a lot of projects now obviously are getting stopped. They've stopped filming here and there. When was this mm. done? Did you, like, how did you get away with it? I swear. We, uh, well, I mean, we, 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 did, we did all of, well, basically, uh, everything apart from the last two weeks we, we'd done. Um, and then we locked down, I think, February, start of March. So then we had a six month break um, and we came back end of August. So it was right in the middle of all that uncertainty, which was very weird to come back to. But um, and yeah, also all the new regulations and rules and the, the precautions Netflix have put in place, which are incredible, but it meant that two weeks turned into five weeks, five or six weeks. Okay. And it was the last, you know, it was it was it was the set piece. It was the end bit. So there was yeah. there was already so much emotion in it. We've we've done so much, but to add on this uncertainty and this pandemic, as well as the end of this show, I mean, it was incredibly tough. 
but everybody just stepped up and you see the results on screen. I mean, I mean, yeah. the whole show is amazing, but the end, especially it just, it, I felt it when we were doing it and, and it comes across. Is it hard when you come back then and you, you I assume you all bonded and made friends as a cast and things like that to come back. And I assume you weren't allowed to hang out that much with each other offset obviously or, or onset, you know, is was a, a different kind of yeah. experience. Cause a lot of people say when they're filming mm-hmm. things, they become like a family. So is it weird to come yeah. back to the family and it'd be so yeah, different? And also, you know, making films is such a team sport. The number mm. of people involved in every single department is massive, especially when you're making period drama on this scale. The number of people is even bigger. And to have everyone have to, all those departments have to be separated, PPE, masks. There's a huge amount of discipline that goes into that. And yeah, it is sad because you, you all of that social you know, lubrication that is the, the, like being able to chat to your mates and your, the, the banter does get slightly diluted, which is tough. But it, I think it's mm. testament to the fact that we all wanted to deliver this show and make something special that we, that we got on and, and, and you know, and, and got it done. Because, you know, like Royce was saying, it, 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 was, it was a serious undertaking in, in the same way that many, you know, there are, there are things we'll be filming in right now today, you know, in, in the UK that will be going up against it. And it's, it's, uh, it's a serious undertake, undertaking to do all that. Well, well done on the show. It's absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Royce and Henry, thanks so much for talking to us.